Are we live? Uh, are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we were just belting over some of the last remains. Well, I guess we didn't belt that one. That didn't take as much effort. Uh, getting ready to remove some of these old builds. Got a bunch of rough data storage substrates we need to deal with. We're down to less than a train load of everything but military data, I imagine. Oh, there's also quite a bit of bite of research data. Ben Wu, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. That timing? Wait, what? Thank you so much for the 16 months. Benwo Zero, Guy 3D. Woo indeed. Very much appreciated, Benwo. Thank you for the 16. And welcome in. Good more. Welcome in also. I hope you're doing well today. Nice to see you again. Uh, yeah, let's get... Let's continue with... Uh, putting over this stuff. Do I have another big container? Kind of... Where, where is this going? Oh. Do we just not pick this up? Uh, let me check. Buy the research data. Data. Buy to research. Right click. Only goes to making military tech cards. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just make a container right about here. And I've got plenty of inventory space for the moment. So let's just go grab it. Well, I couldn't decide who to raid like two minutes ago. It's a work day. I survived. That counts, right? That's good. The survival party, I mean. Congratulations on survival. Right, let's use our trash slots here. Wait, have we disabled the... We have the drop-off. Okay. Should have enough room in here, maybe. Um, I think the... Oh, there's also Bita Research data in here, but doesn't it come from here? Yeah. So this stuff and this stuff is going to get consumed 50-50, but whatever. We, we can drop it and forget about it, more to the point. Still got a lot of stuff here. Oh, wow, that is slow. 40 seconds each. I don't particularly want to drag this stuff somewhere else looking for somewhere to put it. Maybe we just... How many purple belts do I have right now? Not enough. Um... Oops. Why don't we just direct belt this over? Until it's gone. Maybe I could even have it consumed as a priority. That might be a better idea. The hose, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, that'll do, I think. Hopefully we won't be trying to build anything here for a minute. And I'm just going to be a little bit lazy here. Just shove it in that container. Purple belt. Turtle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Time for the K2 Super Assembler instead of the blue ones. 
Oh, uh, yeah, you mean the advanced assembly machine? We're already doing it over here. Uh, I'm just... The, the new build is already in place. I'm just getting rid of the old build. Not so well, but doing... Uh, but it will be fine. How are you doing? Uh, relatively good, I suppose. Veldak, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Go ahead and drop the timer for... Uh, the triple F. There it is. Two hours, 55 minutes. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, physically, could be a bit better, but generally okay. Okay, let's drop this over here. And... Park here, I guess. Just need the purple belt. Oh yes, the triple F. What will it be this week? Quite a few things to look forward to that we've seen lately. I wonder how long we'll have to wait for them though. Okay. So is that the complete path? Definitely not. We're missing... Purple belt right here. There it goes. And we should see it coming in here quite soon. Uh, hello? No, it's there. It's just quite a long belt. So I think we probably are going to have to spam even more spaceships uh, to reach our goal. But I kind of want to save that for the end because... Or, or as, as late as possible because... Uh, It's going to cost UPS. And I'm not sure how severe it's going to be. Uh, we actually... No, we are still making these things. Okay, that might actually take a little while. Um, can we speed this up? Yes, we can. Let's grab a beacon too while we're at it. Me as well. Not sure how many of these we need. Okay, that'll do. And we can actually get rid of this one already. Fantastic. There's quite a bit of copper here, though. Let me just grab some more purple belt. Some beacon twos. I don't need two stacks of this. Okay, back to the mall with you. And grab the decon train. Should be able to grab all of this in one go. Probably. And trim this a little bit here. Don't get the train, please. There we go. I am, I think. Might run out of space. Yes, we did. Okay. It's fine. Also, I have a few auto tech cards here.
I'm actually a little bit surprised how slowly this runs on the snow. Although I do know the game's running at almost half speed. Train out of fuel, but that doesn't seem to actually be true. Why does it do this? Alright, uh, rough data storage subs go up here. And they've got pretty high throughput. It'd be pretty easy to get rid of the remains of those. Got a bunch of glass left over. Glass and rare metals. Oh, I can just get it all in my backpack. Let's go. Uh, even distro. Fantastic. Is this keeping up? Yeah, probably. I didn't... I don't remember how much was in... In the train stop before I dropped that stuff in, but I'm pretty sure it was well above one full train load. Uh, so we can get rid of all of this now as well. Oh, there's also some scrap. Um, probably easiest if I use a train to get rid of this. In fact, I can just lower the threshold. That should get rid of it. I don't think it matters too much if, if we drop off the scrap in a way that's imbalanced over here. It definitely doesn't. This has tier 3 modules in it. I wonder if it's due for a redesign at some point. Philip B, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And light uh, substations as well. Wow. It's been a while. Hi, how's the matter? Uh, who knows? Your waffles, welcome in. How is the matter? There's always plenty here, but I imagine we're not using... I imagine we're not spending that much matter over here in order to make, uh... In order to make mineral water is what I was going to say. Um... But it actually seems like it's getting turned into mineral water quite often. We do have it set up so that if there's even a little bit of mineral water in this huge tank, uh, the pumps that allow matter to flow into the matter assemblers to make mineral water will switch off. But I forget how much it is, but uh, it can store like I don't know, a hundred recipes worth. Uh, it was a lot, whatever it was, like thousands or tens of thousands of mineral water from matter can be stored just in this input. That's why it was running so long, even though we had the mineral water over here. Here we go, it looks like we're about to find out. Six thousand... Five and a half... And it doesn't... Even with the pumps, it doesn't flow into these machines that fast. When the mineral water here gets low. Yeah, it gets a lot slower. Maybe I should change the threshold there. How much is it asking for here? 100k. We've got 15 times 5. So like 75,000. So well above the threshold for another train of matter to come here. Uh, how much matter do we have flying around? I wonder. That's not 60k. That's not 60k. Forty-eight, one point five mil. Okay, that's the. Uh, 
I'm going to be surprised if we find a single tank. Here it is. Oh, this has quite a bit, but the provide threshold is 100k. Which it hasn't reached. Same deal over here. So none of these reach the provide threshold right now. So it seems like it's actually fairly well balanced at the moment. Oh, here we go. 1,000 or so. So literally 100 recipes. Uh, so 10,000 mineral water after the pump switches off. Uh, it'll do 10,000 and what, another 250, like 25? So, so like 12.5 thousand mineral water after it gets the signal to stop pumping matter. Although that is going to disappear very, very quickly. Literally like less than 10 seconds. I wonder how we're doing for actually saturating the lithium chloride, though. Um, pretty well, it looks like. Looks like the demand for Vitalik reagent has probably shot up a lot. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the decon stuff. You may go. Actually, wait, 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 wait. There's probably just a little bit left in here that would fit in here. What? That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Do we have another train coming? We do. And you can just... Wait, no, come back. Get get back here. Ah, that's the only trouble with it, checking for a precise count. The invisible insert is holding on to uncounted items. Well, I suppose the same problem would exist if the inserters were not invisible. Okay, where's our decon train? I have a job for you. I think this will take uh, a couple of trips. Might be able to get everything but the glass that's in the containers in one go, though. T-Hacks, how many Arcospheres do you have? Just asking because I uh, resumed my map yesterday. I don't know. Made a stupid pun but accidentally stumbled upon something, indeed. I don't know how many Arcospheres we've got. Uh, this many in the robot network alone, but a lot of, a lot of the Arcospheres are stuck in inputs for example. So we've got, like... Hey, we can see eight types, at least for a moment there, so I don't think this is going to jam again. Uh, Kind of hard to say right now. Do we have some in the mall still? Uh, where's that ship? The Arcostrosity. Yeah, we haven't brought it back yet. Time to pack that up. Eagle Wolf, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. And... Now we're just counting on the media point defenses. Um, Hagen Orbit, I think, is Moon Orbit 1180. And we want to set the direct destination to Phonestra. 
Let's double check. Moon orbit 1180. Fantastic. I guess I could add some circuitry so that we could send a launch signal as soon as the bots stop moving. I don't particularly trust that. I guess it would probably launch as soon as we get to our destination as well. It'll take more circuitry to check if we're not at our ultimate destination. I think I'd rather just wait for this. That's what I can do while research is running, improving balancer. Improving balancer is very, very difficult. Speaking of research, uh, it stopped because there's no deep three at the moment. Pardon my voice. There we go. Uh, deep three is missing what exactly? It's missing tesseracts, which... Which... Wait, what? Tesseracts are saturated. Provide stack threshold 100. Oh, we need to... We do allow short trip. There's a train coming to pick them up right now. What? Did I just happen to check it? Right when it got saturated? Probably. Maybe. I think... Maybe. Probably. Yes. Hmm. Okay. That's not going to last very long. Oh, we're also missing Deep 2. Which is missing Naquim Cube. Naquim cube is bottlenecked on particle stream. That's not good. Particle stream looks like it's bottlenecked on plasma. We did have to fix plasma, but I wonder if it's still playing catch up. Or if there's some other shortage. Uh, fluids. Plasma. Stream. Last hour. Okay, apart from this little dip while it was getting started, we've... Hmm. We've been making plasma stream for most of this hour at max rate. We were doing the same thing for, like, a couple of hours back here, and then there was a big dip. Uh, let's look at the consumption of lithium and chemical gel. Because presumably there was a big dip... ...in those. I think it's going to be chemical gel. Last hour, chemical gel, consumption. I don't get it. I don't get why plasma stream production stopped unless it was saturated. Okay, consumption of plasma stream. Last hour. Pretty consistent, actually. Oh, it lasts two hours, I guess. So, so it's from like half an hour ago to 1.5 hours ago. I guess it could have been chemical gel, actually. Uh, I, I, I suppose the lithium consumption would have more or less mirrored the chemical gel. If either or of them stopped, we would have con stopped consuming the other. 
what about tracing it all the way back to petroleum? Maybe it was cosmic water. We redesigned cosmic water recently. That's quite saturated now. I do like this redesign. So much neater, so much smaller and tidier than our last version. Burp. I guess we'll have to wait a little while. To get a feel for what the hell just happened there. Oh, cliff explosives. Uh, yeah, I think we'll have to wait a little while to get a feel for where the bottleneck is. This is going to overfill us. How much is left over here? A little bit too much. Alright. Where's the mall? So, obviously, are we good for antimatter now at least? No, it seems like we're still playing catch up on antimatter. Plenty of particle stream dropped off here though, we do make it a very high priority. So the particle stream getting dropped off here is a much lower priority. That must be it. Yeah, we might have to wait for uh, quite a lot of antimatter. There's tons and tons and tons of storage downstairs uh, for the antimatter for the spaceships. So we might just have to wait for that to saturate again. Might take a while to fix after we break it. And yoink. And that should be the entire block cleared out. Fantastic. How much room do I have? None. Not even a little bit. I forgot I can just drop this stuff in the bulk rail unloaders here. That'll get, find its way back to the mall. Alright. This one is empty. Did I break that? I did. Um, but other than that, we have cleared out that block. We finally ran out of coke. Still quite a bit of, quite a few items left to drain this out, however. Um, so this container's not full. But pretty close. Up we go. And these items can start flowing again. Let's see how much we've got left over here. Military tech cards, those are going to be a bit more of a problem. Why do I have no pylons right now? 
Read. Um, I happen to have one lighted substation, though. I guess that'll have to do. And I think... I think we will belt this stuff over here. We'll just do this this way. Did I already fix that corner? Yes. Uh, what's next? Purple belt to the east, or the west rather. need to flip these around. Cool. And that'll be the end of the old military tech cards eventually. So how much more stuff do we have to go through? Lots. Many lots. Alright. What about the old biomatter builds? There's three of them here. And so, 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 so much biomatter that we don't need. Petroleum's still doing very well. It is getting up the elevator, right? Yeah, it is. Cool, cool, cool. And there's our stuff. Fantastic. And because these have inserters here, uh, I don't know if the inserters will swing when we take, like, a f hmm. I imagine when the train comes here, we've got invisible inserters inside these bulk rail loaders, uh, and it should, even if there's only one per loader, it would make uh, a stack of 12 disappear from here, and then I imagine this would immediately start trying to swing. So I don't think in this case the loader is going to take hard priority over the inserter, but it should still push most of the stuff in here. Okay. Oh, that's what I wanted to check on, though. It looks like we got our ratios sorted out and we're perpetually saturated on biomatter. Yeah, we did. I mean, I could make some containers here and move this stuff nonetheless, but... God, that's a lot. I think I'd rather just crush it. Even that's going to take some time. Crushes are very slow. Let's grab some. Uh, where do we keep crushes, though? I don't think we've summoned them here for a while now. Oh, I've already got eight. Whatever. 
Just give me some more. And ride the speeder. No more requests over here, please. Uh, are we still using a vanilla scheduled train to bring the stuff upstairs? I don't think so. Bio... Matter. Maybe? Bio matter. Storage. That is LTN only. I don't see any else though, except in the mall. We haven't needed this here for a long time. Quick drive by and get rid of that little piece of rail. Uh, tags. Search the tags. There's nothing. Well, do we really even need to take biomatter upstairs anymore? It was just to kickstart biosludge. Biomatter. Bio research data, fertilizer, first aid kit, biolab, biosludge. Yeah, we don't need to take that up the elevator. Get rid of this as soon as it runs out. Actually, I think this is like low priority pickup. It is. I think we'll just remove the restrictions and the requests. Well, I guess I should have left the request for cosmic water. Make sure we get through that biomatter. Provide threshold for the biomatter. Also, we need a negative for the cosmic water, otherwise... LTN could think it's available. Okay. And I might actually just crank up the priority on this. So we'll take from here first. And when it's empty... We'll get rid of it. Okay, so now that we know what we're doing there... God, these are big. Uh, I guess just put two of these here. I only really have purple belts right now. About... About this. Whoops. There we go. How fast is this? Half... Half a one per second. Well, we're going to be retrieving these as soon as we're done, so... It's only 2 megawatt. 4 megawatt. I think we can just pay 8 megawatt each block. 5 per second, so 20 per stack. And we've got like 640 stacks. Is 1280 seconds is... 213 minutes, and that's without uh, that, that's without taking into account the extra stuff we're going to be making here. 
Yeah, that'll take a little while to clear out. Maybe we should point a laser at it. It's fine. Actually, let me just copy all of this. Make sure we get the train settings if I didn't copy them already. Or well, lack of settings. Make it easier to line it up regardless. Alright. So then we can finally get rid of those in a few game hours, I suppose. I guess I, if I have one on me, I could leave a notification behind. Looks like I don't have one, though. Alright, that's fine. Five per second per block. Don't forget to remove the oxygen things. So we don't turn every last remaining dreg of petroleum into more biomatter. I guess we don't need these beacons here anymore. Wait, we can make these even faster, right? Why not? Okay, we're not going to use tier 6s for that. Uh, how many efficiencies would it take? 12. For this to be pretty cheap. We're already paying 10 megawatt for this. So... What, like 3 megawatt per machine? That goes up to 9.2. Sure, whatever. Evening, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And down we go over here. Uh, apparently we're missing some efficiencies here. Whatever, it's fine. Okay. Those tier 9 modules will be coming back to us in the not too distant future. Alright. Let's get rid of these while we're here. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. It's the only way to be sure. Mr. JJ, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. What should we nuke? Uh... We're not quite at the point where we start nuking intersections, I suppose. Oh, we did start doing that last time. And it was surprising how little the nukes destroyed from the rail. There we go. This one's for you. Ghetto boy, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. You will probably forget about those tier 9 modules. Yeah, but even if I do, um, uh, this is all marked for decon. As soon as we look about, as soon as we look at them again, we're going to bring all this stuff back to the mall. It'll be fine. Blue tech cards. Uh, how much? How much storage space do we need here? Less than like 90 stacks or something. Das ist gut. 
And we'll just make like a temp container over here. Once more. Oops. Oh, was that a... Yeah, it was. Random decon planner. And that means we're ready to deconstruct this block as well. Oh, wait. I don't want the blank tech cards going back to the mall. Probably some of them already have. Yeah, they have 11,000. Oh, boy. And just a few dregs of other tech cards here as well. Well, I suppose we may as well grab these, take them back to the mall, and deal with all of them at once. Boop. And beep. Now we need to deal with military tech cards. Is this going to fit in the train? Probably not in one go. Therefore, do another lap. Hopefully that'll be enough. There we go. Don't care about a little bit of sulfuric acid. At this stage of the game. Grab this first. And no doubt overfill with what's left in here. Are you done with research? Uh, or moving it? No, we're moving it. Uh, we've already done our, I'm pretty sure, final build for these tech cards on the ground. Uh, all of which only require one machine. Well, one machine for the tech card type itself. Um with high tier modules. Nice little direct insert kind of job with most of these. And we've got like bite of research data belting straight to the only place it needs to go. Cutting down on the need for train stops, using up far less real estate. Very good, very nice, very clean. Uh, and we still need to move the military Oh, we are belting the military tech cards. I forgot already. Blank tech card raised lettering? Oh my god, it even has a watermark? Wait, what? Blank tech card. Huh? Gotta get that... TPS back to 60? I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Because I think we're going to need more spaceships for our target. Um, we're still nowhere close to running out of ingredients over here. Wait, have we not... I don't know if it's going to help but I'll set the priority higher on these two stations to move the packed cargo rocket sections. Our new build, or newer build for that, uh, over here, which is the closest thing we could get to not being a mess, we make the cargo rocket sections on the spot. Well, just like we did over here, but this one's much smaller. Um... But I added a temp storage train requests, here it is, to bring cargo rocket sections 
Uh, and I'm pretty sure we set up... Where was it? Here it is. Yeah, cargo rocket sections get consumed by this directly. Maybe... Oh, here we go. Yeah, we already set this up with a condition. If there's no cargo rocket sections in this robot network, it'll use the locally manufactured ones. So we'll be using up the old cargo rocket sections first. But there's an awful lot of them. Back to the mall, I suppose. Have you ever streamed other automation games like uh, Satisfactory? Yes, I have. It's been a while. It's been a while since I streamed Satisfactory. I know there's been a few updates. They even have something like blueprints now. Okay, what's next? Must have been a long while, yeah. So, what's our research stuck on, right? Wait, wait, wait. I saw something. Nope, I thought there were... I thought there was a train traffic jam over here, but it seems okay. Alright. Uh, this does seem to be a train traffic jam. What's going on? It is... Did we put limits on this? We did not. There's only two trains trying to come here at the moment, though. It looks like... Make that three. But... It looks like only two trains trying to drop off here at one time. Could have been enough to jam this thing. Since ingots don't have to move that fast, I'm just going to set the train limits on these, the LTN train limits specifically, to 1. And... Could you please just move out of the way for a moment? Don't have a way to prioritize the vanilla train schedules here with the pathing, unfortunately. Theoretically, I could allow multiple train loads of stuff to be dropped here, but I, I don't trust it. I don't know. If we mix materials in the train that's taking stuff upstairs, theoretically it shouldn't cause a problem, but I would prefer not to. Still going with SE? It's been over a year by now? Yeah, it's been forever. It's a very long playthrough. Also, I haven't been able to keep up the hours I used to. Is this empty? Yeah, yes it is. 50k oil. Let's get rid of that. And is the decon train ready, or is it still... still busy? Is it going to have room after this? Possibly. Let's get it to head up here. After the current job. Are you going to go for power gen or code thingo ending? Power gen. Uh, we technically already won with Spaceship Victory and 
uh, intergalactic transceiver. We're just aiming for an arbitrary science target. Nifty Nathan, welcome in. Spaceship, yeah, we did that. Uh, the victory ship is here. Fairly happy with this uh, relatively compact high temp turbine generator layout. And six antimatter reactors. So we can get six gigawatts and change out of this. The Nexus, of course, consumes like more than 99% of it uh, when we're going top speed. Well, when we're going fast enough, like 250 plus, I think it is, to do the victory condition. Horseshoe crab, indeed. <laughs> yeah, that took some tuning. But we got there eventually. Alright, uh, I think I just missed my opportunity. Yeah, I did. Clear this out. Did we also... Uh, I think we did. Finish clearing out that block. Fantastic. Oh, I forgot how long this potentially takes to unload. Because we're building it back up here so the bots don't have to go as far. Mm. How charged are the... You know what? Just, just do this and come back again. And there was also some stuff up here that we forgot to pick up, actually. Wanted to schedule that as well. Should be plenty of room by now. Would you ever try the other ending? Uh, do you mean the Stargate? I, I don't. I don't like that puzzle. That, that's a lot of brute force. Not enough clues. Lots and lots and lots of guess and check to even figure out if some idea of how it might work bears any fruit. Math is cringe? No, that's not it. It's, it's not the math, it's groping in the dark for even an idea of how it might work. This 64 pyramids is the annoying part. Uh, that's the beginning of the troubles. Cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope. That straight rail's gonna bother me to no end. There we go. Why do we need these other signals in that case? Nope. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Got rid of the relics of the old system. Now then, where's our current bottleneck? Still don't have Deep Space 3. Uh, we do have like 25 stacks. Still bottlenecked on Naquium cubes. I guess that's not that surprising. We've got such an insane amount of catching up to do on antimatter. But I'm pretty sure the production that we've got is more than enough. To like, far more than enough, actually, to support our spaceships. 
We were going to redo Universal Simulation so it doesn't take all of this to keep up with, weren't we? Uh, editor. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Excited about the Factory DLC. It does look cool, indeed, indeed. Okay, um... Can we even fit? Yeah, I think we can. Signals over here. That's fine. Don't really need those. And it was four solids, one fluid for input. Uh, if there's going to be four solids here, then we can fit 1.5 train loads of each, 150 stacks. And have like 40 stacks left over. That should be okay. So what is it? Uh, insight, 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 insight. And we're looking for... 150 stacks, or more to the point, bring 100 stacks when we're down to 50, and super cool thermo fluid, bring it when we're down to 40k, it would only consume 10 per second even with the highest tier modules here, but this little build would be faster than our current build doesn't need a whole bunch of sushi to support it. It's pretty neat. Uh, let's see. So, blank data cards. And also 25 degree thermo fluid, I presume. Yes. That should be fine. Set the provide stack threshold a little bit higher so that items being belted from this cargo wagon to this one don't get the trains confused. And... Uh, this doesn't need to provide fluids. Short trains are fine. Uh, and I guess, same deal. I don't think there is anywhere that we use short trains for the... SIG data. No, there definitely is. It's where we make the final sciences. Alright. So this is uh, insight of all types. And super cooled going into deep super comp and out comes uh, sig data as far as we're concerned. And this train stop is just SIG data. Oh, seems good. So we only need three deep supercomputers, probably, to support SIG data for the whole playthrough. Nice and tidy. Blueprint. And seek data. Just going to use the tier 9 prod to show that it is 
hopefully our last build. Uh, seek. Universal sim. Well, how about this? There we go. Snap to 86.25.1. And that will do. Now where are we going to put this thing, I wonder? Science. Hmm. Where is our existing SIG data build? Oh, there it is. Well, this has to go to lots of places, but it's pretty slow. It doesn't really matter how far the trains have to go. I suppose putting it more or less in the middle is fine. I think a lot of the SIG data gets consumed over here, right? Could be wrong. Oh yeah, where's our Arcosphere ship? Let's get it get it home. Hurry up. Alright. But where are we building this thing? Could just put it here. And then we won't have to move the old stuff as far. We need three deep supercomputers. Do we have those lying around? We do not. I think I had a little uh, semi-automatic... Yeah, here it is. Build for deep supercomputers over here. We need five Naquim processors to make five. Sure. Let's go upstairs. And I'm not sure where these things are right now. Uh, might be easiest to take a train. Just park over here. In world edit, indeed. Bluesy jungle, welcome in. You have a beacon overload, indeed we do. 92% mining prod 91, good grief. All right, have some, why is that not enough? Oh my goodness, it takes 42, I misread that, it takes 42 Naquim processors for a single deep supercomputer. O okay then, um, that's kind of a lot. Uh, let's borrow this train. And temp stop over here. Wait for item count. Neck. Greater than equal. No. Could you... You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Oh god, the trains are still... Oh god. No. Please stop. So, that's RIP 50 Naquium processors. And a cargo wagon. Why is there no chemical gel here? Oh, neural gel. Advanced neural gel. Advanced... 
neural gel. There's plenty of it here. And for some reason, we've only got a vanilla train stop here for the moment. Rip, indeed. Um, are we still bringing chemical gel down with just a vanilla schedule? Uh, advanced neural gel? Where the heck is the train for it? Here it is. So, that's a yes. Haven't updated that system yet. I think we'll just make this a vanilla, uh, an LTN train stop with the same name. And just don't worry about it for the moment. That should do it. Should be a train coming here to pick up advanced neural gel very, very soon. How did we even make some of these here before? I guess they were just dumped in from the old build, actually. Because there isn't even a drop. Products finished, zero. Yeah. Also, this says 10,000, not 100,000. That might help. There we go. What? Oh. Oh, this didn't need to be an LTN train stop, because we already had this one here. I didn't even see it. Okay. So we can just get rid of this station when when we port over everything so we don't need any vanilla schedules for a specific resource. That's fine, I guess. Now what's not fine is how we just lost a cargo wagon full of Naquim processors. I guess just go back to the mall. That happens so fast as well. Like literally a second after I said no stop. Just pew, straight through the train. <sighs> and that would be when we find out that we're not actually making... Naquim processors as well. The only super precious thing that we lost is a bit of, uh... A bit of Naquim. Which is not actually that precious. It's just that it's finite. It takes a really long time to go through the mines, though. It comes out in such small stack sizes that a few million is actually just vast and vast amounts of it. Um, all right, so we need a cargo wagon. What the? What? And we need to head over to where that train is. I really should have put it on manual or something and not let that train go anywhere until I finished making the schedule. All right. Carefully. Carefully. 
No trains coming. And then, is it G or T? There we go. Alright. Could you please... Uh, temp stop over here. I really don't like that they immediately go for the temp stop. Um, much more prone to accidents like this. And then come over here and wait till empty. We've got enough for one deep supercomputer. So I suppose that accident was about as costly as forgetting that uh, that one deep supercomputer that we've built is lying around somewhere. Uh, where's our Arcosphere ship? It's not here yet. What's your ETA? 53 seconds. Fantastic. Just got in and only saw the aftermath. What happened? Uh, so basically... I wanted a temp stop for a train to pick up stuff from here and then go over here. Uh, and before I was ready for it, it left the station, so I said, no, stop. Uh, and then it immediately drifted into a roundabout and had another train blast right through it. Speaking of which, there must be a locomotive somewhere. Uh, I was going to say there must be a locomotive somewhere with less than full health, but I... I think the one doing the colliding doesn't get damaged. Like the one that's considered the aggressor, I guess. Wh where's the clip? No clip. It didn't happen. Uh, it, it'll never see the light of day. It's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. And can we like steal some of these? We need another 18. It's going to take a little while. Why, why are we so short on Omegas, specifically? Need enough Arcos Arcospheres to saturate all these inputs at any given time. What a disaster, indeed. Manual versus automatic trains are nasty indeed. Yeah, well, I should have, like, given it a temp stop, immediately put it on manual so it doesn't go anywhere, and then designed the entire route before it went anywhere. Just didn't expect it to go so wrong so quickly. Alright, so our arcospheres are here now. Um, where's my train? Let's go deliver them. Whoa! What did you push? That could have been bad. Back to the mall, please. And there's gonna be like 44 Arcospheres. That have not yet been converted exactly 11 recipes worth, but I'm sure we've got a remainder sitting over here somewhere. There's one. That's not that much for a whole trip. 500 Arcosphere launches. Uh, collectors. I really hope we never have to redesign Arcospheres again, but I have a sinking feeling that if all of this is running to support our full speed science, uh, it's going to be like heavily leaning towards spitting out Arcosphere Zetas, for example. So maybe we'd need more of certain... Uh, 
folding recipes. Alright, give me that. And... Oh, hold on. Let's just forbid this. Toss the archers in here. And send this thing to drop off over here. And back to the mall. Fantastic. Bonnie, welcome in. And Midden. Is the sphere amount or the folding speed the limiting factor at the moment? Um, I think it's probably a bit of both. Is there any chance you can upload your save file so we can see the whole base? Uh, sure. I've done that a few times. I'm happy to update it. Okay, more archers. And we should probably embark on yet another trip. We've, uh... We've only got 350 Arco collectors. There should be more on the way, but I don't think we had that many. Oh. Oh, we're already empty here. No dynamic emitters. Dynamic emitters are missing. Oh, God. Particle stream. That's going to take so long if I don't stop prioritizing uh, antimatter. But I really don't want to not super prioritize antimatter. I'd much rather be safe than sorry. Make sure our ships get the antimatter. But still... We haven't been making Naquium cubes or... What was it? Dynamic emitters. For a while, I think. And it really doesn't need much particle stream. Okay. I'll kill the priority. On the particle stream to make antimatter. For a moment and see what happens. Are these all at least running continuously? No. Testing packs. Uh, is that actually a bottleneck now? Testing packs. It's not plasma stream. 61k. 27. It looks like it's both. Looks like it's pretty evenly balanced. Okay, where are our testing pack bottlenecks? Has this thing just been running continuously now? Testing pack. Uh, almost completely continuously for an hour. Four hours. Hmm... Doesn't seem to be a material shortage for the inputs. I could give it higher tier modules already. I think we calculated that one of these builds should be way more than we need for the whole playthrough. Theoretically. Oops. Could always double it. But since it requires... Oh... Okay, here I assumed I would have enough prod modules. Uh, we've got a bunch in the mall, actually. Okay. Give me all your high tier mods. like we even have more than 50 of some of these. Fantastic. Is 
So if we just do 12 prods here and a bunch of speeds and efficiencies, hopefully that's enough. Double it, I don't wanna. Oh, that is a lot more prod modules than I realized I had. Fantastic. So how fast is this right now? 12.8 per second, uh, 87 per second, which is more than one stack per second. We wouldn't have built three train stops here if we were going to be content with about a stack a second. Um, that'll slow it down a bit at first. 11.6. And then... Uh, how many efficiencies do we want to use? About this many. So that is... Holy crap, three stacks a second. Yeah, we just about tripled our material testing packs here. Uh, that might be more than we need. And with any luck, we'll never need to to do another build for this. Those modules are so crazy, right? And that's why we don't need many machines. Uh, what else do I want to prod module? Since we've got another 70 of these now, what's the priority? We've already done a bunch of prod nines over here. At a pretty crucial step towards making more prod, uh, more prod nines. We've got not prod nines in every core fragment processing block for the Vitam lunge, but the ships prefer to land on the left, and we've maxed out the one on the left. How many does it take to do this? Uh. 48. I could do another 48 here, I guess. That means we need fewer ships to support our Vitamelange addiction. Alternatively... Well, I was going to say, alternatively, I could fill out more prod modules in the next step. But I think this is probably the most efficient place to put them. Once we've got these two blocks uh, saturated with tier 9 modules, for the moment at least, most, uh, most if not all of the Vitamelange core fragments that get processed should get the maximum productivity bonus. And... Oh, that's 10 megawatt each. Did I just not have enough efficiencies? Maybe I misclicked. 7 megawatt each? I must have not had that many efficiencies. 680%. Okay. No, don't take it over there. Give it back. There we go. Cool. So this is... 190... Vitamin launch per second. 132 core fragments per second. As opposed to... 82 and 100. Wow, that ratio difference. 132 VIT core frags per second makes 190 per second. Versus 82 makes 103. What's the difference? Uh, 14, 28... 56 percent. Yeah, you can see it there. 56% productivity versus 80% productivity bonus. 
at the first step. And it's going to multiply out even even if all the other steps in the production chain had lower tier prod modules, um, that would still multiply out more aggressively through the production chain. So that's going to result in significantly more vitamelange, which is going to result in significantly more productivity modules. And we keep accelerating. Currently, it's efficiencies that we're spamming, it looks like. Okay. Uh, that is one thing I should bear in mind, that uh, we're going to want to switch off production of modules, or high-tier modules. when it's time to do science. Because a lot of resources are getting poured into modules. Like, we're never going to keep up with both at the same time. I'm only at tier 3 mods, mostly, and comparing it to T6, and even then the difference is gigantic. Yeah, it is. They're a lot cheaper to get the higher tier modules than uh, 0.5. It used to take 3... Like, three tier 1s to get tier 2s, three tier 2s to get tier 3s, and so on. Uh, now it's only two at each step. Which turns out to be a hell of a lot cheaper. Okay, so has that already translated to making more article stream? Judging by the belts, that would be a yes. Um, well, line do seem be, to be going up. Might take a little bit longer before we really see the results. These machines are kind of slow. It would take an awful lot of speeds to upgrade this from tier 6. Okay, where's our science bottleneck? Same place? Yeah, that, that tracks. Are we at least making some cubes yet? We are not. Wait, why not? We've got the fluid. Naquium plate. Naquim Ingot. Do we still have that traffic jam? Oh my god. I set the train limit here to one. Did we not? Did we still have a few trains coming here? So we never actually fixed the traffic jam. Okay, so next time that train comes back, it should be able to get in here. I could just fill out the rest of this rail block as well. That might help. I'm sure it would. But theoretically, if we set the LTN train limit to one here, it should be enough. So there could be a train load of stuff in here and a train waiting to drop stuff off over here at any given time. So it's almost like a train limit of two. Where are the ingots? There we go. Where are the ingots being taken? What? Oh, the station name doesn't have... The station name hasn't been corrected. 
It's being taken to make data cards. Okay. Should probably make this one a slightly higher priority. There's a lot more that's dependent on it. And let's take this opportunity to fix the Naquim Ingot train stop main. What's this one? Well, that's obviously steel. Wait, did I name the wrong one? I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so that is steel ingot provider. How is this imbalanced? Whatever. What's this one? Also copper ingots. Uh, iridium ingots. And that's it. Are these named? They are not. Neuron ingot. Uh, that one's in use. Beryllium ingot, that's named. So it's just holmium ingots, right? I'll fix it once this train is left. Okay. Chromium ingot. There we go. Now what were we working on? How many Arcos do we have now? Okay, we can see all eight types, if only for a moment. That's encouraging. Uh, how much longer till we get... Oh, wait, no, never mind. We still need three train loads of Arcosphere collectors. Why are the... Oh, right. Yeah, I set a ridiculously high limit on the media point defense ammo here. I'm okay with that. Are we going to build this? Seems like it might be a good idea. Uh, when are we getting our deep supercomputers, though? I need to go back up there. Okay. Um, oh, you're already waiting with a hundred? Fantastic. We needed three, right? So less than 150. 126. We've got 105. So one cargo wagon of uh, Naquim processors is going to be enough here. make a temp stop here. Wait for inactive. Temp stop over here. Uh, wait for something impossible. And that'll be our deep supercomputers for this one build. Grab the construction train for the easy parts. What is this? Oh, there's some... 
some rail and signals we don't need to be adding over here. That'll do though. I'll be honest, learning LTN through watching you and I really don't like how it potentially does everything whether you want it to or not. Um, what do you mean? I do strongly recommend changing the uh, settings for LTN from the defaults. I think they can be a trap. Or are almost guaranteed to be a trap, actually. I might just leave these here. And let's head back over this way. In any case, welcome in War Striker. Here we go. And we actually have enough modules to finish the build already. Fantastic. Alright, is that the right amount? Minus 80%. Plus 200%, 30 megawatt each. But yeah, this should be faster than we need. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, they're already coming. I wanted to move over some of these old resources to the new build. We could definitely sort out... Is that going to reach far enough? One, two, three, four, five, not even close. We could underground it through there. Two, three, four, five. Um, so we can definitely pump the thermo fluid across. Moving the Oh, there's actually only a request for 1.5 trainloads of each resource over here anyway. I could have moved it all if I didn't uh, accidentally summon some trains here. But I guess we'll process some of that quite quickly. So individual machines here are 3.37 Five per second, and this entire thing is nine per second. Ten point one per second versus nine point oh six. Slight improvement, and we get cool graphics as well. Cool, cool, cool. Gonna need some plating. Do I have some space pipes on me? I do, but not the basics. Let's park you over here for a sec. And could you please wait here patiently? I could, like, direct belt the resource, the solids that we've already got over here, but this kind of has to be balanced. Spitting out 36 items per recipe certainly makes the loaders look not unreasonable. Oh, 
What's the overall rate here? Uh, it's like 36 items per second. It's not that much, but still. Now then. We require... Some space pipes. Oh. No, that's not going to work. Guess we could put a 3B over that. And we're going to want some pumps. And how many tiles is this? 40. Well, I kind of want a pump over here as well. So, 36. Is a multiple of 9. There we go. That fits pretty well. Now, how long until these run out? Nine per second each out of 1.5k is less than three minutes. Uh, we've already got a decent chunk of room in here already. I might be able to move this stuff across already. Oh, don't die. So we're going to stop spitting stuff out onto the sushi belt. Cool as it was, we can do much better in terms of UPS and simplicity. And I might just move this stuff over when we're done as well. I don't really value the 25 degree thermofluid as much as the super cooled. I guess we can just set the provide threshold lower to get rid of the last of this anyway. Okay. Let's just go even distro this over here. How much is left? Looks like it's going to be about 270 stacks or so. Oh, never mind. There's a lot left in here, actually. I might just come over here and shift C. That works. Not sure if it keeps those two containers balanced or not, but we can just balance them at the end. It looks like it does. That's going to make it a lot easier. Almost done pumping that thermo fluid already. Fantastic. Okay, that's actually full now, though. Hmm. Got like a hundred stacks or so. Nine per second out of fifty. It's gonna take. Oh. It's going to take like 10 minutes? Uh, I think I miscalculated something somewhere. I, I guess we can dump a bunch of this stuff back in here and let that get consumed. Well, there's already... Damn, that can fit a lot of inputs. Hmm. 
So we've got like 85 energy insights per machine and very different numbers for other things. I suppose we'll just let it run for a bit and come back here. Speaking of which... There should be a, a bite taken out of... Oh my goodness. A small bite taken out of the biomatter that we're trying to drain out. Okay, so ignoring what was on the belts or in the outputs of these machines, we've gone through like 45 stacks out of 320. Four point six per second versus twenty seven thousand is like six thousand seconds. It's almost a hundred minutes. That's gonna take a little while before it's ready. Hundred minutes. It's like a couple of hours. So halfway into the next stream. Or a bit less. We're not gonna be clearing that out today. More prods, don't mind if I do. And let me guess. I'm still not making cubes. There's still no plate. How is there still no plate? Do we still have this train problem? Oh my god, why? Let me get this straight. You're trying to go here. There is one train waiting its turn to go here. And you just insist on going straight through it. That's why we don't have Naqueem ingots upstairs right now. Okay. We're just going to expand the rail system here for no good reason. Actually, is that even going to help? Because the train could already go around this way if it knew that it couldn't pass through this train. I mean, if it was coming here before, I presume it would have gone down this way to park over here to wait its turn to get in this way. But I don't know if it's going to correct from where it is right now. Which begs the question of whether this is a reliable solution in the first place. I don't think this train's pathing is going to change. At least not this time. More paths is never a bad idea. I mean, every possible path does slow the game down a little tiny bit. And we're trying to trim down. But yeah, no, this is not fixing it. So, presumably... If it heads over here first... then it'll find its way to pick up the steel.
Which it does. Forgot to build this out. Still, I don't really trust it. Maybe I just shouldn't have this closed signal set up. Wait, did that train just go all the way back here after all that? Okay. Grumble, grumble. Alright, so hopefully that will actually get the Naquim flowing again. Uh, which begs the question of where our real bottleneck is. Is this the best we can... Yeah, it is. Best we can do for Atomic Insight. Although we could maybe miniaturize this build. Just like we just did with... Um, with significant data. I'm sure we could do basically the same thing for all of the uh, significant insight builds. Could probably even put them all in one block. Literally just the same shape, except we don't need a don't need two train stops here. For the output. What are we looking for? Atmospheric insight. Wait, not atmospheric. Astronomic. So how fast is this with maxed out modules and deep supercomputers? Holy 194 per second. That is more than two belts. Uh, two deep space belts. It's going to consume a hundred blank data cards per second. Oh wait, we need five solid inputs. So we can't really, uh... Can't really do the inputs this way. We've got 320 stacks on each side. 50, uh... 50 stacks for one cargo wagon. Which means that if we were to set the threshold so low that it waits till something's completely empty before we summon a train, uh, we could fit 300 stacks on each side. Well, six, six, um, six item times. Is the rate of consumption of the catalogs a lot slower? It is. Let's say we want a train to come within a hundred seconds. So, uh, let's just round that down to six. Um, 600. So if we set the request for, like, astronomic insight, well, no, um, each catalog type to... A full train load plus 600. Let's round it up to a thousand. So that is 120 stacks for each, right? 120 times four is 480 stacks. Uh, that's across both sides though. So 240 stacks on each side, which leaves us with 80. Uh, if we request 160 stacks, 
That's that's more than a trainload and a half. Yeah, we could probably get away with this. Just hope LTM doesn't over deliver too much. So, 120 stacks for each of these. And blank data card is going to be uh, 150 stacks. We can go through almost two stacks a second, so that's only like 25 seconds for a train to bring the blank data cards if this were to run continuously. I very much doubt we need it to also it doesn't actually it would actually be bottlenecked on 180 per second output so it would be a little bit slower but more to the point I very much doubt we actually need 180 um, insight per second for any given type last 50 hours consumption has been let's call it 100 per minute for each type. It's been creeping up to a few hundred per minute. Certainly not um, 180 per second. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we don't have to stress too much here. Hell, one machine is probably enough. 3.8k per minute. From one machine. I think that'll be enough for the whole playthrough. Yeah, I think we can use just one deep supercomputer. Um, maybe put this over here. That can't go up here, can it? It can. Well, the train wouldn't fit anyway. Well, I guess it kind of would. We could definitely use a compact beacon. The speed of the machine is going to be... I think it's slightly slower to get a good ratio, but who cares? Plus 3,000, plus 200, minus 80. Crafting speed 78, plus 1,200%. Good grief. So that's still 3.74 thousand per minute. And I think we could probably move all of this. Actually, if I move it up two tiles, there's no room for the belt to push this to a side. I could just limit this to 50 stacks on each side for the output. How many things do Insight go into? Is it literally just Universal Sim? No, it does go into the Science Packs as well. So I'd kind of prefer to be able to store up more than one train load at a time. Once again, I wish I had LTN settings whereby I could do like a latch kind of thing. Where we could just limit this to say, uh, well, maybe not limit it at all. But for example, we could limit each side to two cargo wagons full. Oops. Uh, but only permit LTN to schedule something, like a train or two, once it's full. And then wait until it's full again to schedule another one. Uh, or two. And that way we could simply use train limits as like a balancer here. But also allow plenty of output. I don't know if I like having the rail like this anyway, so we'll probably just push it back a bit regardless. Do 
You could do that with combinators, yeah, but I want it to be without adding any more combinators. I like to keep the count low. Alright. So that's going to go there. And we'll just do the obvious thing. Just like that. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much going to be it times four. For our final catalog builds. And they're only going to need one supercomputer each. Do I want to put them all in one place? It seems like a little bit of a waste. Actually, no, the, the trains don't have to pick up the catalogs very often. Doesn't really matter how far they have to go. We already put... Uh, what was it? Blue and green catalogs up here. Where's the other one? The other catalog build. Energy and material is over here. So we could turn it into a couple of half blocks. Okay. Need to mirror this though. Why don't we just... Fill this out and remove it when we're done. Except for this part. Yeah, I think I'll still do these in pairs, just so the trains don't have to go that far. Whoops. That's the wrong one. Super comp. Wait, why is... Oh, we don't need this, do we? That still reaches. I suppose I could make it a little smaller if the... Output tanks were like here, but it really doesn't matter. Okay. So that's going to be bio. Um, and the requests are going to look exactly the same, except different colors. It's fine. Don't forget to connect these. And... Like so.
And I'll just turn off the requests when we build it this time. And limit the back. Limit the front. Provide stack threshold a bit higher than normal. Uh, short trains or long trains are fine. Long trains only for the drop-offs. And station name. Catalog. Whoops. One, two, three, four, and blank. And we're making insight. Hmm. Since we should have a chunk of space in the middle, maybe there's a world where... Uh, even though I just built this... Maybe there's a world where we put, like, this build in the middle of four of those. So that we can direct belt the... Wait, no, SIG data goes to a bunch of places. Well, no, I guess the output station... Still... Why? Why is this, like... Oh. There's nowhere for the blank data cards to go? Um, that's a problem. Uh, we're stuck on excess blank data cards right now. These are normal priority, right? Yeah. Hmm. That's a problem. Is this empty now? It kind of is. Need some material science to get rid of the last of this. Actually, how much empty space is here? Quite a lot. Let's go get rid of that. Missing one belt uh, in this build? Or was that the other thing that I was just designing? Yeah, I don't think there's a belt missing here. All right. Um, set the provide threshold. Much lower for the thermo fluid. Pick up all of this. Still a lot of blanks in here as well. I might have to make a storage for blank data cards temporarily. Where are you taking that? Oh, it's the thermo fluid, not the blanks. And it's going to take all of it. Okay, so there go the blank data cards. You are getting turned into some kind of biocides. Still, I'm a little concerned at... I guess we made a whole lot of extra SIG data... And making SIG data spits out a lot of excess blank data cards. I don't think it's a systemic problem. I think it's because we accidentally made a bunch of extra stuff here when we moved things. Probably. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Between the deep 
and the loader in the world editor. Okay. Fantastic. One by one, we'll trim down all these gigantic old builds. Ooh, that was kind of close. Not sure what would have happened there. Bags are full. Not anymore. Nice and tidy. Should have room in my inventory for this. Haven't redone uh, data card refurbishing or whatever either. I think data formatting... If, if not data formatting, then dealing with the broken data cards, if not both. No, this is how we deal with broken. So it's data formatting. Refurbishing the junk data cards, we can get a much higher rate of blank cards back with the higher tier uh, supercomputers. But by the time you can do that, you're so swimming in blank data cards not necessarily even arguably a good thing. Let's move these. Okay, so that should be the absolute last of ye old. What's your problem? Oh, it's pumping the absolute last of the thermo fluid. Cool, cool, cool. Taking its sweet time to get those dregs. There we go. And that should just be blank data cards remaining. As in, in the train schedule. That's not blank data cards. Go back to the depot. How much is left here? 140... Maybe two train loads? Can we start moving them up here? We can't... Wow. Uh, it was full and then it was empty. Okay then. Not quite what I was expecting. Why is there... Floor under here? Yep. 
Yeah, gonna be out of room pretty quickly here. Easy enough to go back and forth though. Just a few blanks remain. Whoops. Don't think we need this anymore. Nice to. That's the end of the old SIG data build. Okay, um, I hope we don't end up moving this again, but we might. Said there was a belt missing or something. Doesn't look like it is. Oh, over here, right. This only spits out one solid. A few ugly rails in the left crossing still. Wait, did I get them? Oh. Was that the only one? Boop. And boop. Okay, whoops. Just one. Okay, cool. Um. So yeah, we're, we're basically going to mirror this. Although the symbols are going to change. And then... Is there a universe where we fit basically this in the middle elegantly? Might have to move the pylon, I'm not a fan of that. Nah, it's fine, we can just train these things over. Besides, the, uh, the, outcome, the output from these has to go somewhere else as well. Why is undo not doing anything? Alright. So the blueprint I'm going to make is just going to be a half block. Oops. No, that's fine. And space... And fill in a little bit of this so it doesn't look too tacky. I guess I could put this up here. I don't know if I like that. That's... I like this better. Okay, so request is switched off. Train stop names. Update. Catalog one three four. And that's gonna go here. 
That's fine. Okay. Now where should we put it? Around about here. And... I suppose there's no harm in putting this here now. Don't really want to have to decon all of this before we place in the new build. Alright. Did I blueprint it? I did not. Boop. And... I guess we'll just call this Astro and Biological Insight. Deep super. I should really just use the tier 9 speeds. Nah, I'm out of the corner of my eye. I'm looking for the same color to show that this is a end game build. Tiles, train stop names, 86251. And that should be it. Okay, so we're going to want to build our first one up here. Going to need two deep supercomputers for this. And might want to switch off the requests for the old build. Now, how many more precious Naquium processors do we need here? 13 plus 42. More than half a train load. Let's borrow this train. Yeah, I don't like how it puts it on automatic the moment that you make a... Moment that you make a temp stop, necessarily. And then bring it over here. That's fine. Alright, I guess I'll fly over there. Should get rid of this scaffolding. There's nothing... Oh, I do have a little bit of plating. Can drop that off here. Construction train just got back. Alright. Give me all of this, please. We'll just make as many as we can. Which is only three. Do I not have any... I do not have any neural supercomputers on me. I think they're back here, though, fully automated. They are. Or at least I made a bunch of them previously. Let's get the scaff train to come over here. Might want to get it to stop, actually. And then we'll need the construction train.
All right, could you please take these off my hands? There we go. And we'll need to place our blueprint once more. Oh. No, th we do need some deep space belt. I was going to say it almost looked like we didn't need the construction train there. And we've already got the modules. Cool, cool, cool. Kind of bugs me that the efficiencies went in first. Alright. Uh, send you home. And once again, we'll start stealing resources from here before we switch on the train requests. Why? Oh, right. I need to actually put the catalogs in here before even distro will recognize that it should put them in here. Give me a little bit of everything in that case. That should be it. Probably be a little bit easier if I had more inventory space open. That can be arranged. Might want the bots. Not sure we're far enough away from that box that Shift C doesn't drop them in. Broad catalogs. There we go. And same thing with the blues. I guess we should pump this thermo fluid across as well. Has this done anything? Product's finished zero. No, there's no thermo, that's why. Makes sense. I guess we'll steal the output. Toss it in here. Let the machines run out of what's on the belts. How long does it take them though? They are quite slow. Okay, not that long. Hundred and thirty four per minute. Each tile of belt represents four items for two types. Yeah, it's gonna take a few minutes.
I guess we could always just... There should still be room here, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can just interrupt this. And put the inputs in directly. Triple F in 25 minutes. Fantastic. What surprises await us today? Do I have floor? I guess I can steal the scaffolding. Uh, should probably just do what we did back here. But recharge rate is being a bit of a problem, though. super prioritized deconstruction so none of them are placing the floor here grab this and this Maybe we can pick this up as well. Not quite. Almost done. Uh, we should probably... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Probably get this fluid out of here. How much is left? 25,000. Once there's a train on the way, I'll alter its schedule just a little bit. Make sure it waits to get rid of the last dregs of the thermo fluid. Oops. Tiles is that? 26. Whatever. That'll certainly work. Unless I don't have pumps. There we go. There's still like 13,000 over here. Don't exactly want to interrupt that. Get rid of that little sticky bit of rail. I do wish the bots would go for the closest things first. with the decon. Makes it so much more efficient to 
order them in short bursts. Let's drop this stuff off before we forget. And that's pretty much it. I guess we can switch on the requests over here. Shouldn't be that much thermo fluid left that it'll cause problems. Almost down to the dregs. Once it's down to like 200, delete this, it'll instantly push the rest into these pipes. Speaking of... I guess I got rid of a little bit of thermo there. It's fine. That is taking its sweet time pumping for some reason. I guess there's a lot. Okay. Beep. And Dunsky. And now we can get rid of this. Cool. That's pretty much the end of the old build. Still a bit of pumping left to go. Can we still fit all of this? Yes, yes we can. Nice. Okay. It's a lot more storage for insight than we had before, so I guess there's going to be a run on certain materials. Why is this not running right now, blank data cards? Because we haven't switched this on. Yes, we have. What? Wait, what? I didn't put inserters there. That might help. That might help. Whoop. Am I out of fuel? I am out of fuel. Uh, try not to get squished. out of range. These trains are kind of scary. I could slip up through this way to get back to the mall, or I could have a train bring me some solid rocket fuel. Oh, didn't we try to do this before and the inserters wouldn't put stuff into this cargo wagon? What if we park it over here for a bit? Uh, evidently yes. And 
apparently that's in the wrong spot. There we go. Alright, please rescue me over here. Here comes our train. Ah! Thought I was being squished for some reason. Uh, toss that back into the mall as well. And... Don't forget to pick up this mess. Oh. Cool. Mission complete. Astro... Insight... Is handled by one machine. And Bio Insight is handled by one machine. Much tidier. Very good. And we'll do the same thing for uh, energy and mechanical uh, material, rather, sooner or later. I guess if I just switch off the require, does this already not request extended catalog? Why did I do that? Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, we never upgraded this to use the material four catalogs. To turn more blank cards into material insights. Yeah, it's on the tier 3 recipe. Why not? Indeed. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll wait for that to drain out a bit, I guess. I might just leave those tags there, otherwise I might have trouble finding this. Uh, so when's the triple F? 15 minutes. 12 minutes. Cool, cool, cool. How many more modules do we have? 18? That's weird. These should, these should come in sets of 10. I guess the bottleneck shifted. No? It's still lattice pressure vessel. And one lattice pressure vessel makes 10 of these. Uh, one, one train load of lattice pressure vessel makes 10 of these. So I'm not sure how we ended up with 18 over here. But regardless, they are chugging along steadily. Are we getting Naquitite upstairs now, or is it still... Okay, yes. We finally fixed the train issues over here. So ingots. Don't tell me we're actually short on Naquim now. What's the problem? We're not getting rid of the pat oh no. Um I may have changed our builds so that there's no train drop-off for these things and forgot about this build. Holmium powder and beryllium powder. Let's see. Beryllium powder. Yep. Well, that one's easily solved. We can just add some uh... I was going to say we could add some bulk rail uh, unloaders right about here. The only thing I don't like about that is we'd have to have 
I mean, we could still have four steel pumps on each side. That's fine. It's very fast. Okay, so we add some bulk rail unloaders over here to drop off powder. And it's going to get consumed as a priority. Compared to the powder that we make on the spot. Um, that's beryllium powder. The other one was holmium powder, right? Do we have a convenient spot to squeeze it in to do the same thing? Where the heck are we processing our holmium? Uh, oh. Oh, it's right next to the space drop-offs. That makes sense. Holmium powder... That's the last step that we have to that we have to do with the centrifuges. Uh, I don't have room to gracefully put in another train stop here. We do have a lot of room here. I could just drop off holmium powder here, filter this, and there's like three belts here. I, I guess we could, like, put it in here as a priority. I don't think we need, we need it to be prioritized. Because the, the Naquium build spits out almost nothing. Uh, as far as these powder byproducts go, it's very, very, very slow. Okay, n not as slow as I thought, but it still shouldn't be an issue. Um, let's do the easy part first. Actually, I'll save the easy part. So that we don't have to hold this other stuff in our short-term memory. Away we go. Actually, why... Oh, I was going to say. Why are we not seeing motion here with the Holmium? Actually, considering all the core frags we've got, that really is strange. Did we just have, like, three ships appear at the same time? What is all of this? I, I still haven't gotten rid of some of the extra belts. Well, wait, why is this one not working? We've got all the inputs. Oh, there's no beads? Oh, that, yeah. Seems like we have to crank up our blue balls a lot. Or at least quite a bit. Alright, so this is going to be filtered for upper plate. Uh, and this one's going to be filtered for powder. Holmium powder. And then we just belt it over there. And then we make this, also request Holmium Powder. And I don't care if we wait till it's empty uh, to summon another train. Alright, so then we can just copy-paste that 
to our other five builds. Since all we're doing is adding a couple of bits of belt and changing a combinator. And I guess a train stop name. And over here. And over here. And park yourself over here, please. Cool. So that should get all of those updated. Now that should already have made room. Yep. For some of these byproducts. Why the heck are they? Oh. Oh, I made this unfiltered. It actually needed to have two filters. Oops. That that is also a mistake. Um so this needs to say Naquium powder and also refined naquitite. Better go over there and fix it. Time for research, I hope? Um, probably not yet. I've got another fake train out of fuel situation. That's really annoying. What do you wish to be in the triple F today? Uh, blue wires. A third wire color for combinators. Easy. This one is going to need a little bit more help. Whoops. And... I think it goes like this. The odd position that the bulk rail loaders, unloaders fit. There we go. Alright, so once again, well, we're going to need some belts as well. Um, where would be the most elegant spot to fit them? We can't put a loader in here. I guess they have to go up here. In which case... Oh, here we go. Nope, nope, nope. I was hoping we could put an underground just like that, but that doesn't quite work. We're going to have to add some splitters in. Kevin TK, thank you so much for the 18 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, that's kind of awkward. I guess it'll have to do. I mean, what's the alternative? Alright. Is it going to matter if... No, it's not going to matter if it's, like, biased to one side or anything. In which case... Since we know there's not going to be that much throughput of this stuff. Might be a bit neater if... Oh, damn. Same problem. Doing fine, thank you. Fantastic. One minutes to go, indeed. <laughs> Let me finish this first. Um... I guess we'll just do it like this, actually.
Purple belt. Here to here. Is it short train only that picks this up? No. Alright. Then we'll do it like this, I guess. And then same thing on the opposite side. And con yeah, considering all the fluid balances out into these, I don't think it's going to matter if the byproduct uh, powder from the other build is just put in this way. Matt Psycho, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we're looking for powder, beryllium, and over here as well, please. Actually, request threshold, provide threshold. Sure. Request stack threshold. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. It's the only way to be sure. Alright, that should do it. But I doubt if there's like two train loads of beryllium powder over here. Uh, maybe. Should probably hang about and make sure it works. Well, I mean, there's tons of storage space in here regardless. Should be fine. Yeah, the powder's draining out from here, even without e explicitly prioritizing this. Should be okay. Mm -hmm. Do we have one of these machines supporting the other side? Oh, no, they both go to both sides. Yeah, that's fine. Even better. And here comes our powder. Nope. It is taking... It is taking a minute for these little inserters to do their thing. So this is the laziest uh, precise insertion system that we've got for putting multiple different resources in the trains without the inserters holding on to the wrong resource for the next train. Uh, provide stack threshold, full train, um, and these are all multiple of 10 stack size, so we just set the, set the stack limit uh, on the inserter stack size to 10. Alright. Let's take a look at... let's save here. Let's take a look at the triple F. Uh, we got a linky linky. We do. Thank you, Veldak. We need a chrome. Vulcanus. Alright, I am going to rehydrate real quick, and then we'll have a read of this.
Okay. Lava pit to erase items. I know a lot of you have been eagerly, eagerly awaiting some solid information on new planets, so this blog is for you. Get comfy because it's a long one. Four new planets in the expansion. So it's so we're not going to have to deal with like uh, different seeds for the planets in SE. That kind of thing. I see a lot of spaceships moving, so I don't think we're doing that uh, badly without antimatter, but we've still got a lot of catching up to do, I think. Is this train coming? Oh, it already did its thing. Okay. Where were we? I'll need to be in games master mode for this. Welcome to Vulcanus. Volcanic wonderland, conveniently sandwiched between idyllic Nalvis and the sizzling sun. So this is, this is our Mercury, right? Our journey begins amidst the blazing volcanic mountains imposing, why is this black? Oh, it's a video. Uh, imposing geological landforms that often feature a central lava pit. Those fiery crucibles offer a great place to get rid of items. Just throw them in and poof, they're gone in a glorious puff of smoke and flame. Outdated gadgets, cursed rings of power, even unwanted company. How are we going to toss biters in there? The high points of the mountains are the desolate ridges that surround the lava pits. This would be a good vantage point if it weren't for the thick yellow fog that burns your lungs and etches your eyes. Further down the mountainside, sulfuric... Here we go. Sulfuric acid geysers below thick yellow smoke from fissures. Surrounding area is pitted by dried sulfur puddles while sulfur-stained rock uh, covers a larger area. I wonder what happens if you drive into it. Okay, so it's literally just the terrain. More verbose descriptions of some harsh, pretty scenery. Oh, wow, this just keeps going, doesn't it? That little drill you brought won't do much good. What does that mean? The pursuit of tungsten beckons exploration deeper within the lava maze. So we need a higher tier drill for that, I guess. They weren't kidding about a lava maze. So, it looks like we're not going to get a lot of technical stuff with this post. It's all just kind of... Here are some biomes. So lava contains iron, copper, and stone. These triple Fs are top tier, so often I'm like, I want these changes right now, indeed. Welcome in Bezaloth. For the 2.0 engine lava, Beagle made a prototype lava shader outside 
of the game and got something good looking using multiple texture layers and distortion. It didn't even occur to me that uh, there's no... Um, there's no lava in vanilla at all. I think the modders did it. I, I guess there's no actual lava in space exploration either. Like you can you can walk on this; it's no big deal. Are there some rivers of fire or? Not that I remember. We've got another vul uh, vulcanite planet over here. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Hey, this has water. That that only I only just noticed. We actually do have a vulcanite planet with water. I didn't know that was possible. Maybe on a future playthrough I would be a bit more picky uh, searching for the first Vulcanite planet. Oh, sorry, I just realized you guys can't see. Hopefully they're gonna do tides with water? I don't know that I'm really hanging out for that. Yeah, as far as I can... Remember, there's no, uh, there's no lava in SE. Can the biters not get through that? Is this almost cheating? Make craters collidable, but then there are two more problems. Wanted some partial craters, which would mean even more special collision rules. It's the kind of thing you just don't really even think about as a player. Sulfur. I guess you can just get your sulfur directly over here. Sulfuric acid geysers. They weren't kidding that this is a long one. What's that? A lot of work has been done so far. Placeholders. Tungsten and calcite resource graphics. Okay. Well, it's a whole lot of... Here are some biomes. They do look nice. But no mechanics changes to get excited about or anything like that. t -Hex just hates reading. Uh, it's more that I can't just keep reading and reading without losing my voice these days. Yeah, I, I, I can't read out loud consistently like that. I don't know if it's because I did too much voice work in the past, or some other things, or a bit of both, um, but my throat's going to get worn out pretty pretty quickly doing that. New triple F, indeed. Can we start at the beginning again? I missed it. Uh, there's really not that much to talk about. It's, it's here are some biomes. Can you please click the rocket at the end of the post? Yes. Yes, I can. Well, I guess I could just mouse over it. Nope. Gotta click it. Fantastic. It's got a long way to go. All right, that'll do for now, I think. Is that some Factorio option? 
Factorio option. What do you mean by this? New starting setting or something. Oh no, it'll be the Factorio expansion. It's a little bit space exploration-ish. The biomes, yeah, it, it'll be in the expansion, I believe. Okay. Uh, so we fixed that, right? Looks like it. Now what's the problem? Oh, right, I have to go over there. And manually move some of this powder around. What's our next problem, I wonder? So it's still Deep Space 3 that's not here. Still the same problem. Nope, we've got cubes. Uh, now it's Naquium Plate, so basically the problem that we're fixing right now. I wonder how much Deep 3 we've got saved up. Uh, almost 40 stacks. Once we hit 50, it'll deliver. Oh yeah, what about Arcospheres? Uh, we've still only got the 350 Arcosphere launches. I'm guessing we're playing catch up on dynamic emitters. Yeah, it's dynamic emitters. They are getting made though. Okay. This goes in here. And we can finally start making Aquim again. Whoops. Fantastic. How fast is this block? Uh, 460 per minute. Wait, how many prods does it take to upgrade this? We've only got 44. Too many. We've already done the prod 9s at the first step here. Um, I think the next step would be prod 9s over here and here. Where we process the raw naquitite. Because it'll take a lot of prods for these steps. So how much is it? Uh, 6 4s, 24 48 on each side. Got 44... There's, holy crap, another 23 upstairs. Another 28 upstairs. Naisu. Last hour. Half a prod per minute. Last 10 hours, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Yeah, we're not doing badly for prod modules now. Let's go get them. Gives T-Hack some free Arco launches. Welcome in Westu. And Pospec. Good to see you again here today. Hope you're doing well. Alright, give me those prods. And... Are you still making these right now? No. Give me those prods. So that is 72. Fantastic. Let's go get half of our Naquium to have higher tier prod modules. Um, I could think about going to where we mine it in the first place, but I think it'd take a lot, yeah, it'd take a lot more prod modules to up our game over here. And besides which, 5.2 million here. It has a stack size of 10. We're not running out of this stuff anytime soon. Alright, back downstairs. I said back downstairs.
this. Oh, how are we doing for testing packs? We're short on copper. I have to admit that that is not the problem I was expecting. But is it actually just a train delivery issue? Maybe? Maybe we're not delivering fast enough. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. We're draining out the excess copper that ended up in the mall. For some reason, and this loader is super slow. Still, maybe we could do better than this. Um... A better question would be, how much copper do we have stored here? The answer appears to be yes. Okay. Uh, it's not that much. But it's, it's enough to make me think... It, it's not actually a material shortage of copper. At least not yet. Okay. Um, back to the build. Tungsten is an ore that requires some special smelting methods compared to iron and copper. I'd love for more games to incidentally teach real things and stuff like that. Okay, how many efficiencies do we need here? At least one more. That, that's not an efficiency. Okay, there we go. Maxed out modules for this build. So this can process... Uh, 264... That is 26 and a half stacks of Nacrotype per second. Good grief. Do we even need the one on the right? This is like 9 per second. And, in, uh, and, and we get a productivity bonus of 80% uh, instead of 56, I think it was. 64. Because this is tier 7. Hmm. How fast can this consume? Uh, what are we looking for here? Our output is crushed nacrotite. Crushed 160 per second. And this can do 118. So if we're going to be bottlenecked on the crush, then yes. How many more modules do I need? Got 24. We could at least prod half of these. I think it's probably worth it. And... Oh. Those are the same, actually. Construction train. Over here, please. We should have plenty of speeds and efficiencies. Yeah. Well, I say plenty, it's not that much. Local arcosphere at each asteroid field. One shared global for pool. Yes. Yeah, you get diminishing returns for both each local area and across the entire sector. Speaking of arcos... Still haven't made any more. Ryanite rods. Don't tell me that's a new bottleneck. Cryonite rods. No way it's cryonite in general, right? Surely not. Surely you jest.
Oh my god. Um... Um... There's not enough cryonite. I... There doesn't seem to be enough cryonite these days. How many drills do we have again? On this planet? Which is our only source of cryonite. I mean, we could go find another one, but I really don't want to have to add a cryonite drop-off spaceship port thing. We have... Oh no, we have 25 core drills. Um, how many... How many, how many can we have? 41. But diminishing returns exist. Are you not using Arco links? Uh, no, we're not. Those are pretty super cheaty. But maybe we'll end up doing it. I mean, some of the logistic challenges. I don't know, like Arco's, Arco link chests can literally just solve the game. Just teleporting items from one chest to another instantaneously. Alright. So we're looking for 24 prods down here. Uh, and then that'll be it for those two blocks. Let's put a tag here to remind ourselves. And I think I sent the train home already. 8 by 90 belts is not that limited, but you can just keep duplicating it. That's the thing. Like... We can have, you know, a couple of Arco Link. Uh, we, we could have like four Arco Link chests that are all on the same channel. And it's got inputs, 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 outputs, 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 outputs. Loaders are cheaty. You're, you're calling loaders more cheaty than Arco... than Arco chests. Okay, Veldak. So, like, say it's 100 per field and 100... Uh... Two inserters equals 80 per second. Uh, it's more like... with the superior inserters... If it's direct insert, as in taking from a container and putting into a container or a machine or something, so there's no picking up from belts invo uh, involved or putting onto belts, uh, you could just do the math here. 1296 degrees per second uh, divided by 360 is 3.6 swings per second. Stack size is 12, so it's 43.2 per second. Uh, for one inserter, theoretically. But then you have to watch out for things like if an inserter has to pick up multiple different resource types, it'll be a lot slower than that, actually. Partly because they'll keep picking up less than a stack of one resource or another. Uh, and it's a lot slower if they're taking up if they're taking from or putting onto a belt, um, the inserters are much, 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 much slower. So, for example, what's a good way to demonstrate it? That is a cheat inserter.
Okay, so this is 43.2 per second. But if we have something like this. You can see it's a lot slower. Even without doing any math, uh, very, very clear at a glance. The inserter on the left is swinging 12 items far less often than the one on the right. I just used the inserter tooltipy mod, shows all the transfer speeds. Tooltipy mod? I also didn't get any new spheres. Last 50 launches. Oh no. It's going to be a sad day when we launch 500 Arcospheres and get zero uh, Arcosphere collectors and get zero uh, Arcos for it. There are a couple of unique locations where we haven't picked up Arcospheres yet. And there's also the, uh, the spider puzzle. I got only two spheres from Global Pool of 50 times 45 launches. Damn. Speaking of launches, still nothing. Right, we need Cryonite. Ugh. I really hope we don't end up needing to go to another outpost for Cryonite. Planets, moons. Cryonite core frags. Uh, here they are. I wish we could filter, because I want to sort it by distance as well. I guess that'll have to do. Uh, Zach Hall is actually, like, right next door. Parent Hyperion. I completely forgot this existed. Okay, well, that's something, at least. Radius is only 1.2k, but with diminishing returns from drills, we're gonna, we're gonna get a lot more. We're probably gonna get more from this than if we put drills everywhere on Hagen. I could also start actually mining cryonite, uh, the finite cryonite mines, but I don't think they're going to last very long. Also, we might have to retool. Where the heck is it? Can't remember where. Here it is. Cryonite powder, cryonite core franks. Crynite itself. We're just direct inserting the Crynite, so there's no easy way to shove it into the existing build. Uh, I guess we could... We're not actually running out of core frags here, right? Fry or night. The entire site from orbit. Oh, fry or night. There we go. Let's see. see. Sure. Consumption is just... Uh, it's mostly just a flat line. Last three and a half hours it's been a flat line. I think the dips back here are probably when we didn't actually need that much cryonite. Let's go. War Striker, Nuke, Nalvis. Okie dokie then. About, I guess we could nuke this. We're sort of running out of things to nuke if we don't count the rail. How about this drill? Fantastic. Oh, and 
did we not do monsters nuke? Oh, was that when I was taking a little break? Monster would also like a nuke. Let's do that. Okay. Fantastic. Will there be a Nalvis cleanup stream? Maybe. I could use energy beams, but we'd have to, like, drag them all over the place. But it is getting closer to the point where we might actually go over there and start picking things up. There's a lot of stuff to pick up, though. A lot, a lot. Okay. Arkale, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Right side of the pulverize looks to have cryonite. Right side of the pulverize? Oh, like right here. Yeah. Uh, I was just thinking about if we had trains dropping, uh, dropping off raw cryonite into this build, it'd be pretty awkward to integrate it. We could always just do a temp block to process cryonite into powder directly. Can you get a mod for planetary cracker? Where you just delete the surface? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, but yeah, I th we probably want higher tier mods. God. The list of things I want to shove prod nines into is getting longer. How much can this consume? 98.4 crinite core frags per second. We're capable of 25 times this. 107. Okay. So our bottleneck is the processing of crinite core frags, which is where I would prefer it to be. But I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, we're literally getting, like, one more... Uh, overall, we're getting, like, one core frag per second, if that. If we keep adding drills at this point. I guess we could check. Where's the nearest one that we're not using? Over here? Let's go over that way. There are true nukes. Not exactly the same, but... Might have a similar effect. Indeed. Okay. Um, let's get rid of some of this rail. Shove a big drill. Whoops. In the construction train. Did I... What? We have core mining drills. Oh, they're over here. They're all over here, apparently. No, that's not true. Weird. Is this not connected properly? It looks like it is. Huh. Well, in any case, but we already have a core drill over here. Let's bring the construction train. So, you need square numbers to increase the amount of core frags you get on each planet linearly. Um, so we've got 25 drills. You're just sitting here, right? Yep. We've already got 25 drills. That gives us 107.16. If we add another one, we get 109. 0.29. We added slightly more than two per second. But 
but that's going to diminish with every single drill. Um, if we do another one of these blocks, we'd have to support another 50 for that to be the bottleneck. There's absolutely no way. Uh, even if the remaining... Like 15, 16 drills gave two, two per second to each. There's no way we're supporting another block. I mean, productivity bonus gives us more core frags, but it's going to take a long time for that to scale up. Do we really have to go over here and make another outpost? I wish I could, uh, without actually building there. Wait, can we see the surface? There we go. I wish I could figure out the math on exactly how much we'd get without actually going there. Like, if we could rate Kalka Ghost or something. Yield 123%. Okay. Yield 35%. That's just... That's just the diminishing returns talking. Okay, well... Okay, we know this much. Um... What was it, 135%? 123. Uh, it's going to be 3.51 times bigger. So, like, the first drill would give us approximately... Um, what, 7.35 per second? That's not that good. Probably still build there anyway because spaceship travel time is everything. But, oh wow, I never actually fixed this. Um, let's go do that. I do not want to put that on the back burner and forget it again. Let's go finish whatever it is that we didn't finished. Didn't finished. GG English. Uh, whatever it is we left unfinished at Gibble, let's do that. How much cryonite are you going through? Uh, how long would a classic mine last? Not long enough. But more to the point, I don't want to have to think about replacing the mines. Like, ever. It's bad enough that uh, at least the Naquitite and uh, methane? Methane gas. That's going to have to be manually replaced at some point. Alright, uh, let's go upstairs. Grab our construction ship. Drop off this. Computers. Don't need a regular compact beacon, do I? And this is the construction ship, yes. It's been a while since I used it. Let's go. Before we make new outposts, let's finish what we're doing at some old outposts. I could just land on Gibbel instead. It does cost a bit more antimatter. You know what, since we're still playing catch up on antimatter, I think we'll just mark properly. Is the yield of the core proportional to the planet radius? Yes, it is. Uh, and different resources are slower or faster as well. Like, 
Erudite is a lot slower than most, if not all, other resources. Where else would we go for Bryonite? We've got a couple that are less than... Uh, less than the distance to bounce off of Fo and Astra away. But they're also... They're even smaller than Sackle. I think I'd probably skip those. Crystallis is 9.9k radius. Um, I think we I think we would go there. If our home planet, well, adopted home planet and this little moon nearby are not enough for the whole run, uh, then we're definitely going to go to Crystallis. Which is in Basilius. It's far enough away that we're better off jumping via Foenestra. Uh, but it is super close to the interstellar map. It has a huge radius, so we don't need as many core drills to support our goals. We do need to clear the biters off of a 9k radius planet. Uh, but we've got a solution for that. Turns out... What are they called again? Anti-biter virus capsules are busted. They, they completely wreck the UPS for a little while, but if you just keep tossing them on a planet, it will clear out the entire planet without uh, without turning Vitamelange into, into coal. Or we could just use a virus bomb since it's a cryonite planet. There is that option. Did you test out Plague Rockets? Yeah, we've been using Plague Rockets. I forgot about them for a minute. Alright, so... I think... I think this is the only one we didn't finish on Gibbel. Why are some of those rocks blocking the rail system? In any case, we need some rail, we need some lighted pylons, substations, bulk rail loaders, blue belt, uh, and I guess that's about it. Okay. Give us some rail. Got bulk rail loaders, we need a drill, we've got one. Uh, lighted pylon substation. Gonna need a train stop. And some signals we've got. Uh, where's the pylons? I think they're up here somewhere. No. There they are. Lighted pylon, lighted pylon substation. Cool, cool, cool. Big brain? What are we big braining? I remember the virus testing. That was a very nice slideshow for a while. Instead of SPF, uh, FPS, we had SPF. Oh, fr uh, frames per second. Seconds per frame, yes. I would have just called it frames per minute or something, but yes. Yeah, it would, because uh, it's not just, it, it de-evolves all the biters, um, and that doesn't just happen on one surface, that happens everywhere. I think that was part of the reason it was so, so taxing. I'll also use that setup to three speed three net processing blocks. Only six K plates per minute. Oh my god. I don't think we've done a scrap of research this entire day. 
Okay, let's... No, 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 no. Get rid of that. Where's our blueprint? It's front right, I guess. And we delete that just because bulk rail loaders misbehave with the wiring connections. Oh, I didn't bring the blue belt. Of course. Well, let's get this part finished at least. Let's see if all the rail connect, uh, wires connect and stuff. Was muted. What's the th throughput of that abomination? Oh, Veldak, right. We should at least see the drill start working. Hurry up, bots. There's no... There's no pylon connection planned out here. Okay. Still got a gap. Is there not that there's just nothing planned here for some reason. Okay. Hold up. Alright, do we have connection to central? Yes, we do. That reaches, fantastic. And red wire only. Connecting all of these to the Combinator. Seems good. Uh, probably make sure that has power. Get out of my way. And then we just come back with the blue belt. kind of core frags are these? Iridite. We haven't even been struggling with Iridite. Well, regardless, let's fix it. I do not like to leave that unfinished. I think we had a Holmanite outpost or something like that in the solar system that we could expand as well. No, it was... I think it was actually mineral water that we should have been expanding by now. Oh, we did expand it. Verb tea? Uh, not sure. Okay, where the heck is the elevator? And what the heck is this? No. You saw nothing. Okay, up we go. 
Go get that blue belt. Maybe I'll do the cry night thing off stream. We've done it many times, making another outpost. What am I looking for again? Blue belt. Where the heck is the blue belt? Down here. Splitters. And I don't need this stone. Oh. Plenty of fuel. I'm kind of hoping the demand on cryonite is mostly a function of spamming modules. Uh, I suspect it is. Maybe we don't actually need to make an outpost for it. Where am I going? That's right. I don't recall exactly where Cryonite Rod... Cryonite Rod gets consumed. For the sake of modules. Maybe it happens downstairs. Nope. Nope. Here it is. Efficiency threes. It's only, it's only 30 cryonite rods per efficiency 3. So 60 for a 4, 120 for a 5, 240 for a 6, 480 for a 7. Close, it's getting close to 2000 cryonite rods for an efficiency 9. 10 stacks. Nine, nine, nine to ten stacks, something like that, off the top of my head. I think that might be where our cryonite rods are going. And that's not going to be part of our consumption or our goal at the end. We're not trying to spam modules and do science at the same time. All right. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. An SE point five. I see. Okay. All right. Let's get build sorted out. I guess I could switch off module production for a little while on the ground. Or we could just cancel out the Cryonite Rod request specifically. Cryonite Rod. 22,000. In before I forget that this exists and look back here later and say what the hell is this? Um, but I want to see if Cryonite gets... I, I, I want to see if, uh, if Cryonite gets saturated pretty easily. If we stop delivering this here. Alright, let's head back. Maybe I should make it lowest priority drop-off as well. That would probably help. I think that's something I want to do regardless. Um, priority... Like, negative 100. And priority... 
I'm not really worried about the light oil so much. We'll do it anyway. Priority negative 100. So this way if science is active or something, um, this is going to be the drop off of last resort. Also, the bots are still not keeping up with this stuff. Uh, I might have to redesign this to make it more compact somehow. I mean, I, maybe we end up doing the... doing the crafting combinator thing with one big fast machine or like three big fast machines and keep swapping between the recipes so that there's a much 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 smaller area covered maybe we have really small drop-offs for the bots to put things into storage, but then belt things to the actual machines. And then we can lay it out pretty much any way we want. Probably. I'm getting a little carried away. It's about time to finish for today, regardless. Let's get towards the construction ship first. Oh, and we did connect this properly, yeah. That should be fine. Oh, and we should double check. Train has path. It does. And it should have path from back here as well. Seems good. So long, Gibbel. There's so many places and builds I haven't thought about in such a long time because they've just been abstracted away as something that we need not think about. Okay. So who should we raid today? There's an SC that's not in English. There's another one. Victoria with space exploration and co. Arkham Horror? I think someone forgot to change their tags. But we could drop in on them. Let's just check for mic quality or something. It's a bit hitchy. Oh, let's drop in on the cyclo. Why not? And this time I'll spell it correctly. With this terribly counterintuitive name. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. See you tomorrow, guys. Anyway, if you're interested in anything speedrun related for Factorio speedrun.